Hello everyone and welcome to your workout. Today we have a 20 minute AMRAP that is going to sneak up on you. So all you need today is a kettlebell. I've got my heavier dumbbells or my medium dumbbells heavy just in case. Um, we're going to be doing some swings, kettlebell swings, some single arm lunges, some push-ups, some goblet squats, and some core work. So we'll start off with our 10 kettlebell swings. I would say anywhere between a 25 and a 55 pound kettlebell, depending on um, how strong you're feeling. This is 35 pounds. Remember, feet shoulder width distance. The movement comes from the cores. It's a hip hinge movement. Hips go slightly back. Press them forward. So I'm hinging at my waistline, at my hips. My hips drive that kettlebell forward. 10 of these. Set the kettlebell down, because then we move right into our push-up. So your heart rate's gonna be up. Move quickly into it, shoulders right above your wrists, legs strong back behind you. And I'm gonna show you from the front, actually. So you don't want your elbows too wide. You want your elbows to shoot out. Then you're making the shape of a W. Long line from your crown to the tailbone, back to the heels, 10 of these. Use your knees if you need to. Then we're back up on our feet for, this is why I might have my dumbbell, single arm overhead, walking lunges or reverse lunges. Since I don't have a lot of space, I'm just gonna reverse lunge. Um, but do all 10 on one side and then the other. So I've got that kettlebell, overhead, shoulder, lock down my back, and I'm gonna alternate reverse lunges. 10 here. And then I'll switch sides, put my left arm up and overhead, and do the lunges that way. All right. Oh, keep that kettlebell because we're doing goblet squats next. Hold the kettlebell by the horns, right at your chest. Keep your shoulder width distance. Squat back, squat down. Knees open wide. Drive up. Really go for that depth, you guys. And then our final movement. Our plank toe taps, 20 total, 10 per side. Find your high plank position. Right foot steps outside, right hand, then the left foot. If hip mobility or hip flexibility won't let you get there, do spider mans Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. When you're done with those plate toe taps, you start right back up at the top. This is a 20 minute workout. Check to see how many rounds you can get done in that time period, and then try this again next month and see if you're getting faster, see if you're getting stronger. Have a great day, you guys.